have a uh, special deck here for you. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, historic decks. I kind of uh, tweaked with some new tools. We have them, the latest sets. But anyways, we'll be playing that today. And it's based around the Flood of Tears combo uh, to get down to Omniscience. But anyways, uh, starting at the bottom, I have two Witching Well. For one blue artifact, when Witching Well enters the battlefield, you scry two, and then you later on you can pay for one, uh, three colorless and one island sacrifice Witching Well draw two cards. Uh, other than that, it's a bunch of ramp and card draw. Uh, so we've got four Wolf Willow Havens for one colorless, one green. Enchant land, whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional forest. And then later on we can pay four forest, sacrifice Wolf Willow Haven and create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Um, we don't really use that ability, this is just mainly for the ramp and to get a permanent on the board. Then the other two drop slot, we have the Golden Egg, two colorless. Uh, when Golden Egg enters the battlefield, draw a card. And then we can uh, do some things uh, later on, like pay one, tap, sacrifice it, add one mana of any color, or pay two, tap, sacrifice it, and you gain three life. And then, on the last two drop slot, we have four copies of Mind Stone, two colorless artifact, tap it, add one colorless, and then later on we can pay one, tap, sacrifice, Mind Stone, and draw a card. <clears throat> In the three drop slot, we have our Gift of Paradise uh, for two colorless, one green. Enchant land, when Gift of Paradise enters the battlefield, you gain three life. And then Enchanted land has tap, add two mana of any one color. Also helps us ramp, gains a little bit of life, keeps us alive. Now we get into the meat of the deck. These are the cards that we're wanting to draw to get into our end game. On the four drop slot, we have four drawn from dreams for two colorless and two islands, sorcery. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, so we're going to use this to search up maybe a permanent that we haven't had in the board already, or our uh, last piece of our combo. Four copies of Masterminds Acquisition for two colorless and two swamp, sorcery. Choose one, search your library for a card put it into your hand, and then su shuffle your library. And then the second option says, choose a card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand, which is our sideboard, which we have uh, full of some goodies. Um, pardon me? One moment. All right, guys, so sorry about that. Uh, let's see, where were we? So, Masterminds Acquisition, which can access the sideboard. One copy of Tamiyo, Collector of Tales, for two colorless, one green, and one island. Legendary Planeswalker. Her static ability says, Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanence. And then her plus one ability, choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards of your library, put all the cards with the chosen name from among them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. And then her minus three is return target card from your graveyard to your hand. She starts off with five loyalty. Uh, so we just basically use her to find also pieces of the puzzle or maybe recur things that we need uh, back from the graveyard later on or to uh, keep us alive like our next slot which is three copies of Time Wipe for two colorless, two planes, one island, sorcery, return a creature you control to its owner's hand and then destroy all creatures. And then finally the 
the guts of the deck, basically this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get four permanents down for a Flood of Tears, which says for, for, for four colorless and two islands. Sorcery, return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield, which the permanent we want to put onto the battlefield is Omniscience. For seven colorless and three islands enchantment, you may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. Okay, so the entire idea is we ramp, we stay alive, and then we look for one copy of Mastermind's Acquisition uh, once we have Flooded of Tears or have Omniscience on the board. And then we access our sideboard, which is very, 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 very fun. Um, we have two copies of Merfolk, Secret Keeper. Uh, we're not going to obviously use the creature aspect of this. We're interested in the Venture Deeper Sorcery for one island. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. I have two copies of that. One copy of Revitalize, one Colorless, one Plains. You gain three life and draw a card. Flood of Recollection for two islands. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Flood of Recollection. Flood of Recollection. One Agonizing Remorse. One Colorless, one Swamp. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or a card from their graveyard and exile that card. You lose one life. Revival Revenge. We're going to be using the Revenge side of this once we get it going. For, uh, the rest of these I'm not really going to talk about the mana cost because we're not going to be paying for these spells anyways. Uh, so Revenge says double your life total. Target opponent loses half their life rounded up. Repeated Reverberation. Uh, when you next cast an instant or sorcery instant spell, cast a sorcery spell or activate the loyalty ability this turn. Copy that spell or ability twice, and you may choose new targets for the copies. One copy of Tamio in case we need to pull her out for some reason. Uh, one Inescapable Blaze. Uh, this spell can't be countered, and Inescapable Blaze deals six damage to any target. That's if we want to end the game real quick. Uh, Thousand Year Storm. This is the other main combo piece once we go to our sideboard. Um, uh, it's enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before this turn. Uh, you may choose new targets for the copies. Casualties of War, if they have a crazy board that's all set up. Um, I think everybody knows what Casualties of War does by now. It's choose one or more, so you can choose one or all of them or two. And it's basically destroy one type of each permanent artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. Skull of the Ages, we're going to grab this after the first time we access our sideboard so that we can recur our Mastermind's acquisitions, and then we go off from there. One copy of Star of Extinction, I love this card. Uh, destroy target land, and then Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. Uh, Plane Wide Celebration, another uh, sorcery. Choose four. You may choose the same mode more than once. Create a 2-2 citizen creature token. That's all colors. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Proliferate or you gain four life. We're only going to be using the life game for this. And then one captive audience for the memes. Uh, captain Mo when captive audience enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent of your choice, at the beginning of your upkeep, you choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your life total becomes four. Discard your hand. Each opponent creates five 2-2 black zombie creature tokens. So, let's get into uh, some games and have some fun. First match against Young Gravy. <laughs> All right, I've got a three lander here. Got some early ramp, got some card draw, some more ramp, some life gain. This looks beautiful. We have our four permanents. Now all we're looking for is a flood of tears. I'm gonna keep this.
Gonna go ahead and oh, there's omniscience. Gonna go ahead and lead off with the breeding pool. Put it into play tapped. Next turn we play drowned catacombs. So we have our four permanents now. Now what we're looking for is a flood of tears and a masterminds, and then that's game over. Uh, if we're playing mono red, we might be in trouble, obviously, because of the aggressiveness of the deck. Maybe. All right, he's alive. I think we just ramp for now. And then we can save our Gift of Paradise. So Flood of Tears is uh, 6, cost 6, so that's the magic number we're trying to get up to by the time we hit it. This guy is... Uh... Masterminds. Um, play out a golden egg. time wipe very soon or our flood of tears right now we've got two four five this makes six so we're at we, we hit our uh, flood of tears we're just looking for it and here come the goblins um, we could very well have an ember cleave and then we would be really done Time white of it. Okay. I've got one, two, three, four. We'll do the mine stone. So I've got one, two, three, four, five permanents. We just need that uh, that flood of tears. We're going to have to board wipe this turn in case we have an ember cleave. So we'll do that. Ramp up some more. Hell, we might be able to hard cast it here soon. I've got. Okay, that's, that's fine. Fanatical Firebrand. Okay. Can we hard cast it? Oh, look at that. Good game! Alright, now we masterminds. Choose a card we own from outside the game. We're going to do... Scholar of the Ages. Play Scholar of the Ages. Pull back these two. Okay. You're going to time wipe. Kill this. Go back into our sideboard. We're gonna pull out Thousand Year Storm. Good game. Play Thousand Year Storm. Play Scholar again. See if he'll let us go off here. Get these two. 
play Masterminds Acquisition. Now it replicates. Now we're pretty much good. Grab a Flood of Recollection. We're going to grab Star of Extinction. We're going to grab Revival. And we'll grab Revitalize. Okay. Let's play Flood of Recollection. Pull this back again. Sure. 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 Okay. Pull the rest of the stuff out of our sideboard. Repeated Reverberation. Merfolk. Inescapable. Agonizing Remorse. Captive Audience. Plain White Celebration. Okay. Hit him with the Captive. Okay. Let's do a Revitalize. Copy that a bunch of times. Draw some cards. Gain some life. Basically what we're doing is we're ramping up so we can destroy all of his lands and exile everything from his card and then exile everything from his graveyard. We'll see if he'll let us do it. <laughs> okay. Now we play our star. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This guy is a sport right here. It's really cool. I got to show it on the first try. Agonizing Remorse, go ahead and take everything out of his hand. Start exiling stuff from his graveyard as well. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now we go in his graveyard and start giving us stuff. And now we plain white celebration. Gain a bunch of life. And then next we do Merfolk after we do repeated reverberation just to kill everything in his graveyard. And then I like to finish with revival, it's just so funny. Okay. Repeated reverberation. Ah. Next we do Merfolk. I cannot believe this guy is sitting here for all this. This is awesome. This guy's a champ. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Let me just select him a couple times. I can't believe he's still here, this guy. And goblins too, man. Alright, so let all this finish. Yep. Yep.
And this deck also, when you hit him with uh, Revival, or I'm sorry, Revenge, just so obnoxious. Bam! <laughs> oh my god. What a champ. That was great. If you'll excuse me uno momento, and we'll play another. So that was not how you're supposed to win, <laughs> but that is the combo once you can get it off. Basically what we're trying to accomplish. Hack in. Alright, I have a two lander with no green, no ramp. We do have the omniscience, we do have the flood, but if we're playing control deck, this could be very bad. We only have two omniscience in the main deck. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this, unfortunately. This seems a little bit better. Yeah, we're going to keep this. But what to get rid of? I think I'm going to drop the Wolf Willow. Do I want to drop? Actually, I'm going to drop the Golden Egg. Keep. Because I'd rather prioritize Ramp. Uh, we don't really need the card draw at the moment because we have uh, oh, blue black. We might be in trouble. Esper. <clears throat> oh, well, there's flood of tears. Got one, two. I'm thought erasure or agonizing remorse or duress or. Some options. If this is uh we could be in trouble here with all the Teferis and your choice, my man. some counter spells. I'm glad he countered that though. Uh, the fact that he's countering the Gift of Paradise, I'm assuming he has more counter spells for my Drawn from Dreams. Here's to Fairy. I don't mind if he bounces any of these. Okay, he's not going to bounce. It's been so long since I've seen this guy. Okay, he has no static abilities. Drawn from Dreams here. See if he has some counter spells. Yep. Okay, it's fine. I've got two permanents. I've got two, four, five. Got a about forty-three percent chance to draw a land. Running twenty-four in this deck. Ugh.
definitely do not want him hitting this ultimate. I'm going to Flood of Tears next turn just to drop to pop a Teferi. Um, or to get another counter out of his hand. But I mean, it's not looking good. He's got quite an advantage on us. Especially, okay. Love that card. A flood of tears here. Time to draw that. Okay. Still got two thought erasures left. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I think this game is over. And I am going to switch to regular play, just so I don't tank my rank. Played those first two on rank for you, though. The deck, unfortunately, is just too slow and requires a lot of precise things. So if you're playing stuff like counter decks and stuff like that, it's hard to get off. All right, so we've got a three lander here. I've got some board control. i got my flood. No really ramp, though. I guess we keep this. Let's we'll start off with the uh, the breeding pool, in case we draw a, a witching well, and we also have the you know the, our early ramp is well hey little haven, oh and omniscience. Gonna let's play inner tap. Fuck. All right. Okay, I don't 
don't know about this one. Nice. Fucking love this card. Oh, man. I mean, he surely has to have a counter. Yeah. Very nice. Opt. Oh boys, oh boys, can, how can I do this, omniscience, I think we got him actually, masterminds, choose a card outside the game, we'll grab scholar, play scholar, grab this, No, because we don't have enough, we don't have enough, uh... Yeah, that's a good game. <laughs> I can't believe we got it, but at least we played it on him. That was pretty awesome. I'm just so excited I got to show you guys. Especially on goblins. Wow, mono 
blue. Tempo? That's fine. Cool. Um, what's more important here? Draw a card? A ramp, yeah. Just draw a card. Yes, please, use all those. Counter that too. Yeah, that's what I thought. We might be okay here because. Oh, what does he do? Scry. Cast yeah, it's more sorcery spell roll. I'm just going to do a shooting turn sorcery. Okay. I'm not really too worried about that. Let's pull back a, a golden egg. I want I want him to use his counters. Really? I mean, if he uses all his counter spells on my cheap stuff, we'll be all right. It's a golden egg, dude. It's not a. I was gonna say. Oh, what do I want here? I want. Mind stone would be nice. Gift of paradise. Oh, 